So what are these disputes about and why is Clara leaving now? Well, there are a couple of things at the heart of the clash between Marcelo Carre and Masayoshi Son. Uh, in particular, Carre had been pressing for more compensation. He felt like he had added a lot of value at the company. He had uh, t taken over the lead role at Sprint, for example, in the U.S., helped turn around that wireless carrier, and then uh, facilitated the sale to T-Mobile, which was a very important step for uh, SoftBank. Also, he was involved in the turnaround of WeWork after uh, founder Adam Newman left. Uh, he helped bring in a new CEO. The company was able to go public, which, again, was a pretty big accomplishment for SoftBank. So all told, he wanted much more compensation than what he had received. Um, he, uh, in the last fiscal year, had received about uh, $16 million. He was pressing for as much as a billion dollars because he felt like he had added that kind of uh, value to the company. And that compensation for a Japanese company is just off the charts. Uh, so SoftBank never really seriously considered giving him anything close to that. Peter, how much of an issue is this going to be for SoftBank and Masayoshi Son? Well, there are some short-term issues that they're going to have to sort through, and then there's some longer-term issues. Uh, first of all, SoftBank's share price has been getting hit pretty hard with the tech downturn. They, of course, have invested in hundreds of startups that they hope to take public. Some of them already are public, and they're getting hit in the markets. Uh, Clara, in particular, leads the Latin American fund uh, that SoftBank has had, so they need to figure out what they're going to do with that. Longer term, there's a big question of succession for Masayoshi Son. He um, has talked about, he's in his 60s, he's talked about retiring in his 60s or at least giving up the CEO job. Kare was one of the people mm. who had been considered uh, as a possibility for that, but uh, at this point, he's going to be gone. There's no obvious person to step into those CEO shoes at SoftBank.